So for my second achievement, uh, which I am yeah, very proud to, um, I went to Cambridge in the Department of Pharmacology with some of my colleagues and started up a, 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 a research uh, group that was looking for fundamental new ideas for the company. Um, I was fortunate that Richard Sykes uh, had this idea that I might uh, start up this group and he was uh, prepared to put in at least 10 million pounds into the effort and I was very pleased that uh, Alan Cuthbert, who was the Professor of Pharmacology, uh, was very keen to get some industrial people into his department and in fact he gave us a whole uh, floor within the department and uh, we just uh, got on with things and we had some uh, amazing projects. I just took five people from Glaxo um, and um, we, di we didn't need more because the whole idea was that we would get PhD students and postdocs in um, who would um, provide the, 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 the lab work and the, the new ideas and everything else. Um, we set about some fundamental research which we hoped would lead us into to new drugs and in fact one of the areas we chose was uh, somatostatin which I think is still a very intriguing area but it's been uh, chemically very difficult to um, to uh, master really but the other area was uh, ATP receptors um, they'd barely been thought of at the time and we did some pioneering pharmacology which led to, to a whole lot of ideas about how uh, ATP antagonists might be beneficial in a variety of diseases and more recently I, I've actually been working with a company called Afrin who are actually pioneering some of the work we would have liked to have done at, at, at Glaxo but I think uh, it was quite difficult really uh, working at Cambridge to come up with ideas and then transplant them into the bigger company which already had its own projects and was not overly receptive. So uh, in, in a sense we had exciting times, we published lots of important papers, um, all the PhD students uh, did terrific projects, uh, had some great postdocs and um, we, we had a, a great time but we didn't actually uh, discover drugs for Glaxo which was probably would have been the ideal uh, scenario but what we did do was train some phenomenal people and these people have gone on to be uh, vice presidents in a whole variety of companies and in fact in one of them is actually a very eminent uh, professor in uh, UCLA in California at the moment doing some terrific uh, electrophysiology.